Hey, how's it going? It's Tinla here and welcome to the channel. Today is going to be an open box video of the 3D printer kit that I purchased from uh, Fombot. Fombot um, 3D. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so this is the uh, Varon 2 uh, 3D printer kit. You know, when I purchased like one week ago and it just shipped by UBS come to my house in like in a week or something pretty nice look at that very well packed big foam all right I don't know if I oh okay so all the acrylic panels very nice all right I'm just gonna leave it here My table is too small for this 3D printer. Some setting paper. So I'm just gonna put it away. So what I hear is that they replace some uh, uh, coral blast plastic to some aluminum plate. Yeah, it looks like aluminum. Uh, uh, not aluminum with uh, plastic composite material. So it doesn't work uh, under the uh, that okay this is uh I'm too sure to this well, this is the deck panel this is what I'm talking about aluminum composite material with some backing panel Goodies are here. Tape. No cable. No, it's, it's a cable change. Electrical cable for US, North America. Some tape. Double sided tape. Cable chain again. I'm probably not going to use a cable change. Uh, rubber feet. Uh, the rubber is not. It's this stiff. Uh, some lots of uh, SD cards. Uh, the TT2 uh, Eilert and you know driver. All right, where? Just stay there. Come on. All right, that's cool. Uh, some heater as well inside the package. Two GT22 uh, uh, here and PTFT PTFT two thing SD card scan this 32 gig mean well power supply I believe All right uh, looks good uh, mean well power supply. Uh, it's gonna switch it to uh, 110 so this left at 220 to 30 volt so in, in North America I gotta switch back to 110 so I'll put it back I do it later uh, it's a lot of wires kit no. okay so insulating foam tape Two GT belt, whole bunch of like, uh, all right, a lot of hardware, zip tie, gain the tape. What's this? Two head BCB. All right, I'm gonna use a uh, can anyway, uh, can bus anyway, so I'm not gonna be using these uh, BCBs. USB cable, I guess. Let me put it aside. It's a lot of stuff. All right, I you know what? If you are in the market for a Voron 3D printer kit, uh, LED lights, uh, uh, 
you know, I highly suggest you to go with a kit, you know. I mean, for you to source all these, you know, um, by yourself, it's gonna take you a lot of time and effort, you know, searching for deals and whatnot, you know, farm bot coming down, pretty good price, uh, you know. And they advertise that it, they use like moon motors, double motors, that, that's why, that's the main reason I'm going with the uh, farm bot kit. Uh, because of the moon motors, okay? They advertise as a high temperature step of motors. Um, and they give you some gifts regarding uh, okay, spool holder and the exhaust fan at the back. And what's this? Uh, BTT. What's inside? Come on, there we go. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the um, the screen. Pretty nice so far. Uh, okay, good. And we're always with a, a duck, a ducky. Right. So, with a USB adapter, uh, 90 degree, you know. So they already searched it out for you, you know, put together a kit that you can build with pretty good 3D bond to printer. Uh, you don't have to source every little pieces, you know, with the filter power inlet. All right, and some fuses. All right, some connector on and off switches. All right, this side, what's this? Uh, I don't know what it is, but let's figure out later. Uh, the connector. I think this is for the solid state um, mount on the beam rails and whole bunch of fans. Um, all right, turn it for volt fan, blower fan, like four blower fan, and then yeah, another fan. All right, it's good. What do you think? Carbon fiber. I mean, this is carbon activated carbon for the filter, and this is for the tap. The, uh, the kit for the tap, LEDs, and then. All the linear rails, stainless steel, I suppose. So I'm gonna check these things um, for flatness and whatnot, you know. Uh, so the best way to check whether it's a stainless steel or not, let oh look at that, it magnetized a lot. So I don't think this is stainless steel. I mean, uh, because stainless steel doesn't really like, stick to the magnet. But anyway, so as long as it's good, I don't mind. Um, these are supposed to ground surfaces, you know. So anyway, so this is the uh, 12. This is the 9 millimeters. So one is skinner and one is bigger. This one has more weight to it, and this one pretty good. So far, so good. I think that um, these linear block are already preloaded. Okay, so you don't have to. Uh, but I'm gonna look into it, uh, closer. Okay, later on. Let's check it up. Let me put it figure, put it in support. Right on the bed. The silicone with the uh, 3M uh, double side tape at the back uh, with, you know, kind of like um, a thermal um, fuse that cut the power so you don't get the thermal runaway for the, you know, if that happens. Nice. This is nice. Has yeah, some weight to it. But since, you know, the reason why I go with the Vaughn too is because, you know, they, it has a fixed bed and, you know, so it doesn't matter how much weight this carry, you know, it's not a big issue, you know, fix one to the frame and this one eight millimeters, I guess. Uh, so it seems like machine uh, plate, uh, 
it doesn't feel like oh there's some I, I can feel the uh, the tool mark uh, you know there's some difference between it so if I put an indicator on it I'll probably test this about like 1000 uh, pretty nice though not bad machine with all the drill and tap holes on the bed already so that's a big flush so I'm just gonna leave it here pretty cool The whole package weights about 24 kilograms, you know, it's pretty heavy. I mean, my wife couldn't carry it inside the house uh, when the guy drops it at the front door. So, pretty weight heavy. Okay, yeah, let me put it away here. All right, now what you see is the bottom layers with the bearings, SIG 25. Uh, RS bearing, the moon motors are uh, drawings. All right, looking good. I'm gonna test the TIR of this uh, motor shaft and see if it's wobbling. You know, I purchased some motors online, uh, especially from Stubber Motors, and some of the shaft is just like wobbling a lot. I put an indicator on it. Uh, the Stubber Motors are this from Stepper Online. Um, I think that is like four thou of an inch uh, wiggling, wobbling like that. So so it's like 0 0.1 millimeters. I mean, that's not good, right? But hopefully that these um, Stepper Motors from Moon Industry uh, doesn't have suffered that from that problem. All right, the 2020, pretty skinny. Uh, look like uh, let's see some other thing that already tapped and added eyes so it's been tapped before machining before I guess let me let me see if it's a machining uh, mark on so I cannot see it but seems added eyes or paint whatever really nice yeah looking good and 80 teeth or uh, 80 tooth uh, pulleys with uh, 45 degree I mean angle plate you know the step of motors and then the, uh, the V6 Probably a clone or something, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Alright, and what's this? And of course, on the side here, you can see the solid state. So I'm probably gonna replace this one with a real proper. Oh, let's say Omron. Made in China. Alright. Bearings. The F. 695 RS bearing Apex 7 or something uh, doesn't matter all right they're all the same I don't know if this is about any bottom layer that's it that's the bottom layer yeah. That's all. I mean, a lot of stuff. All right. Okay, so please give a thumb up if you like the video. Okay, and uh, yeah, it's I'm I'm so excited building uh, the Bron 2 3D printer machine. Okay, so please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Uh, because uh, remember, I'm gonna go and test how straight these uh, uh, extrusions and how good the motor is 
you know, we'll see how it goes. And then of course, as you can see, 15 rails. This is like metal instead of like aluminum. It's good. So they leave it on here like this and it's, it's scratching the, the aluminum extrusion as you can see. So I, I wish that they re replace this one somewhere else or maybe put some like kind of like separator between the aluminum and the um, steel uh, thin rail so it doesn't scratch the, uh, the extrusion. So that's the only thing I can notice it. All right, thank you. I'll see you next time, okay? Bye.